Hello, junior fans. Tyler Davy here with head coach Garrett Stroke back for another episode of Stall Talk after another weekend in the books. Four games, four wins. Got an interesting Saturday in Estero with a shootout as well as an overtime game. I want to talk about that elite team. 11 skaters for the Blades. Do you think maybe they overlooked their opponent? Oh, absolutely. They did. I think they, you know, we, we played them earlier this year, you know, we beat them pretty well. And I just thought they, I think they thought they were going to go in there. Then when you see, you know, they had 11 skaters because of, of different situations that they were missing guys. And right away, guarantee that's what they thought. And they just thought they're going to breeze through it. And it just shows in this league, you, you have to get everybody serious. It does not matter. And uh, it was actually <clears throat> probably a pretty good lesson for our guys and a little bit of a wake-up call. I also want to talk about the Blades premier team because the team you saw day one compared to who you faced this weekend, it was like night and day, the improvements they've made. How important is that for this division? Uh, it's big. They have, you, you want to have a division where you have to come to play or you're going to get beat. And, uh, you know, and part of the thing, the beginning of the year, they, they started late. They didn't start until after Labor Day. So, you know, they really had, you know, only one week before we played in the first time. So you could see a huge improvement with them. And but yeah, you want a division that's competitive, and uh, they really showed it this weekend with them with two, three to two games. So you're a guy who prides yourself on playing a disciplined brand of hockey. This weekend wasn't really that way. What were your thoughts about the parade to the box, and how frustrating was that? Yeah, I thought. I mean, I don't really like to complain about refs and stuff, but there was a few pretty questionable calls, especially the game down there. Mm -hmm. uh, the game up here, we we were down a guy. Uh, twice and took penalties both times. We deserved both of them, and uh, they scored two five on three power play goals, and that's what kind of kept them in the game. And we, when we kind of were putting it to them and, and, and trying to close it down there, but uh, and they took advantage of it. And, and that stuff you have to be disciplined. You can't do that. Premier goaltender Kate Kajowski for the second week in a row wins the USPHL Florida Goalie of the Week. As a coach, how much confidence do you have when you know that a guy like that is your last line of defense? Yeah, I mean, he's been playing really well. I mean, every game uh, we have a, a statistic uh, that we get for analytics, and it, it shows that he should have, he's expected to have given up over 16 goals this year, and he's only given up 12. And, and that's pretty big. Anytime you're a minus on that mm -hmm. metric, that's really good. And uh, But, no, he's been sharp, and he's been focused, and you can see it even uh, in the practices and stuff. He's starting to bear down a little bit more, and, uh, you know, he, he wants to go to college and, and – there's going to be a lot of teams looking for a goal, and he's going to be a kid that uh, is going to get a lot of looks. Big weekend coming up, four games, home and away against the Florida Eels. We always know it's exciting against those guys. How excited are you? Yeah, and again, play them you know, real early in the season, So, but they always have a tough team. Uh, they're always one of the best teams in the league, so you, they're always good to play because you, you know where you stand, and they're going to give you an effort. Junior fans, is head coach Garrett Stroke. Coach, thank you very much. Thanks, Dad. Junior fans here with Premier Ford, Rocco Sullivanoff. Rocco, the overtime hero last weekend against the Florida Junior Blades with the goal Saturday. Hurts Arena. Rocco, take us to that goal. Just, uh, it was a, you know, a different experience. We obviously uh, had some tough times during the game and we didn't find our game during the game, but eventually we knew how to play them at the end. And, uh, you know, Hella just gave me a great pass and with Hella King, you just kind of get on that. Um, they get a quick release, and yeah. And then you've had three goals this year that have all been in pretty clutch situations. A couple third period goals, as well as the OT one. What is it about these clutch moments that makes you raise your game? Well, you just kind of go with everything. You don't think about you're gonna, you know, this is gonna happen or this. It kind of the pressure is there, and sometimes it's good to have that pressure, and it pushes you a little bit more. And um, you know, a lot of people can handle under pressure, mm -hmm. especially in panic moments. And they panic, and that's why, you know, they screw up as a team sometimes. But we just find a you know, sweet spot, and you just kind of calm. And this is your second year with Tampa Bay Juniors. You were with the runner-up team in 2018. Back this year with Premier. Take us through that decision to come back to Tampa. Well, I went back to Europe for a year, and... You know, I thought that I talked to Coach Garrett and Brett, and I told them that I'd be back again maybe, and I figured it'd be good because I knew that it'd be a good year again. I knew it'd be good players, and we have a great team now. We have a chance to win everything, and uh, we're going to do it, man. And you coming back to Tampa means one thing. You're living with Rhett. Yeah. Take us to that. What's that like, and how much of a father figure is he? Rhett's... 
you know, amazing, you know, and everything, you know, it's fun to be around the guy, he, he does everything for you, whatever you need, I will give it, and um, it's just an off, just awesome guy, awesome. You heard it, heard it here first from Rocco Sullivan, off Rocco, thank you very much. Right. Here with Elite Forward Jack Flair. Jack, coming off an interesting weekend for the Elite team, two wins, but first I want to talk about the game on Saturday. You go to overtime, even a shootout with a team that had 11 skaters. In your assessment, what do you think happened there? Uh, I don't think we were prepared to start, and then we saw we were down. We kind of got uh, down on ourselves, but then after the second intermission, we just got going, and we just built up the momentum. You started to pick it up offensively as of late. How much has your comfort level grown from day one until now? Um, playing with my team, my linemates, uh, Bahula and Table, they're really easy to play with. Bahula, you just give him the puck, he's going to score. Table, he's always flying, you just hit him going. And I want to talk a little bit about the grind of junior hockey. Practice every day, off ice, on ice, and having games. How is this compared to the high school season? Yeah, it's a lot different. We're just on the ice a bunch more. Feel a lot more comfortable in the games because of that. And then this is a team also that has... Decent amount of returners, a couple of your line mates or two of them. Yeah. How have those guys helped you really just know what is expected every single day? Well, they've already done it, so they just let me know what I need to do, and I just go on to it. So everyone I've talked to has said the same thing. Are you the best Warzone player on the team? For sure, best in the league. <laughs> Junior fans, is lead forward, Jack. Clear, Jack, thank you very much. Thank you.